Good day, students. Today we're going to be working on a new app. It's the Timer App Challenge. This app is going to have a couple of things. Number one, you're going to be able to create a variable. You're going to start the value of that variable at zero. You're going to set the label value um, to the variable value. So whatever the variable equals, you'll be able to see it on your screen. And you're going to have a button. And when that button is clicked, the variable and the label will be increased by one. So in this app, we're actually going to start from scratch. We're going to start a new project. We can just call it Timer App. We'll wait for it to pop up here. And we're going to get right into it, building our user interface. First thing that we're going to add is a label. We're going to have that at the top. And we're going to... Um, set the text to zero. We're going to rename our label. We're going to call this the counter label, which you should do as well. Second thing we're going to do is we're going to add a button. You can just put it right under here. And we're going to rename it. Uh, well, first of all, we're going to set the text. Why don't we set the text to the plus one button? because we want the value of the variable to go up by one every time we click it. And we're going to rename the button, the button increase. Alrighty, so we've got that. Now we got to get into our coding. So we're going to flip over to the blocks mode. The first thing we're going to have to do here is we're going to have to create a variable because we're going to want the variable to increase every time we click the button. So we can initialize a global variable you can call that uh and call it maybe the counter variable and we're going to start off at with a value of zero so we're initializing the counter variable to zero when our increase button is clicked we want two things to happen one is that we want to set the variable to we want it to increase in value so we have our our variable it's the global counter variable and every time it gets clicked, we want it to increase by one. So we get that in there. Get the global counter variable. And we're going to want it to increase by one. Second thing we want to do is we want to make sure our countdown label Every time it changes, every time the button's clicked, we want to change the text to be equal to the global counter variable. So we'll set the counter label text. We're going to also set that equal to the counter variable. Okay, that is part one of the timer app. Good luck.